The Foreign Affairs has written to the electoral body IEBC asking the Commission to withhold payment of any benefits to Paul Kurga, who resigned as Commissioner a few weeks ago. This is until an ongoing investigation into alleged misappropriation of 180 million shillings during his tenure as Kenyan ambassador to Russia is finalized. And as Murimi Mwangi now reports Kurgat's troubles come as suspended IEBC CEO Ezra Chiloba continues a high court battle against Commission Chairman Ofula Chebukati. In a letter dated the 2nd of May and addressed to Office of IEBC CEO, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs wants all payments to Paul Kurgat withheld to allow investigations into alleged misappropriation of over 180 million shillings while he served as ambassador to Russia between 2010 and 2015. This follows queries by the Auditor General in his 2014-2015 financial year audit for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. With the National Assembly Public Accounts Committee recently putting Foreign Affairs Principal Secretary Masharia Kamau on the spot over the Moscow audit queries. Why would you wait for the report of the Auditor General to, to, carry, to, 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 to cause action on a matter which I essentially has got the potential of, of, of becoming a scandal. It, I believe the practice is that uh, once, you, once information is availed, that there is a difficulty or any kind of problem is to investigate. The Auditor General argues that Moscow Embassy was at the time of Kurgat's tenure, classified under the Eurozone, but that Moscow staff allowances were paid using rates reserved for the United States zone, occasioning an overpayment of 8.5 million. There's in addition to withdrawal of 178 million shillings from two embassy accounts between 2009 and 2011 without any supporting documents. In the letter, the ministry says there's likelihood of the recoveries being made against Kurgat if found culpable. Give us like three names. They will appear here. You don't need to investigate. They will come here and they will say everything and how they withdrew the money and everything. We will help you. you. You can accompany them that day to listen. The same question was posed yeah. internally. And uh, there is a technical uh, fact that the term loss uh, is, not, is only used because that is the term that is used by the auditors. But internally, it's a reconciliation challenge. <laughs> so until we establish that it is indeed a loss, but speaking to KTN News, Kurgat shifted blame back to ministry headquarters in Nairobi, insisting at no time did he receive any circular from Treasury on the alleged irregular payments. He added that his previous calls for audit of the embassy during his tenure had been ignored and that he was ready to face the prop team. Kurgat resigned from IEBC on the 16th of April this year alongside fellow Commissioner Margaret Mwachaya and Commission Vice Chair Consolata Minor, protesting alleged incompetence of Commission Chairman Wafula Chebukati. The resignation had been preceded by the suspension of CEO Ezra Chiloba. Chiloba is still fighting at the High Court for his comeback. Now with the Chebukati Chiloba standoff still pending in court, Kurgat's was only three weeks after his resignation no doubt complicates matters for the commission that is still fighting to clear its name. Murami Mwangi, KTN News in Nairobi.